Hey folks, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Wonder what's under here? <laughs> this is like one of those inflatable hot tubs and uh, one of the neighbors gave it to us. We had it working and it was pretty hot, but the little controller unit kept freaking out and buzzing all the time, so we got rid of that. But this <laughs> makes perfect cover for my tractor. I don't have a garage. Not yet, anyhow. And I keep my spare drive belt and my armrest kind of fell apart. I got to make a new one of those. I think I can salvage this cover though. Anyhow, got my new tires on the back of it. And man, do they work. Uh, next door, my little sister and her husband have a, have a little getaway bug out type of thing. And uh, with those turf saver type of tires, I'd be struggling for 10 or 15 minutes fighting for traction, trying to get up the hill or sliding down it and crossing my fingers but uh <laughs> these work there's some spots where they really chew up the lawn but those are spots that really have drainage problems and they're just nothing but mud pits anyhow and this walks right through them <laughs> thanks for the recommendation zippo oh, okay so back to the frank and chebby uh had a like a crunching grinding groaning coming from the front four-wheel drive when you're turning hard and moving and I couldn't figure out what it was so I checked these new joints and then just this morning I came in or I came out unlocked the hubs and I was fiddling with them let me see if I can even get in here Can you see it? I don't know. <laughs> How's that look to you? <sighs> yeah, there you go. You can probably see that slop now. And that's the same on both sides. Uh, I believe this is going to be a corporate 10 bolt axle. Pretty sure. Um, what I don't know is is there a bearing in here? Uh, I'm getting weird information online that I can't can't quite figure out. Uh, asking on that Chevy truck page on Facebook, and there are guys that know what they're doing. They're not just full of shit. Um, but I just, I, I don't know what he's talking about, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go online, check out some exploded diagrams and whatnot, if I can find one of this axle, and, uh, see if there's a bearing in there. I, I can't imagine there ain't, I mean, there's gotta be something, unless, uh, oh, what the heck. The guy said the axle stub shaft is supported by the spindle bearing, which I would think the spindle bearing would be outside, you know, in the wheel assembly in the hub or whatever you call it. And the axle stub shaft, I don't know whether he means in the tube or out here uh, after the U-joint going to the hub. But regardless, it's got to come apart. That ain't no good. Uh, I've said a couple of times this chassis has just been road hard and put away wet and you know no no thought given to it at all this the guy was just beating the crap out of this thing through his back 40 so you know that's what I get but it ain't as bad as it could have been and uh, I haven't run this much I don't have my tripod on me so uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got a good view of the exhaust. Let me see if I can get a little better. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll start it up and uh, give it the beans for you. I did sea foam in the crankcase 
and the rest of the bottle I pulled off the uh, brake booster line while it was running just sort of dumped it down there hoping it would clean it out it seems like it really helps with the smoke it's not gone but it's a lot better I think but you'll see There's a kid on an ATV and a new, new, pretty new thing, you know, like a 2013 Polaris. And he breaks down right in front of the driveway. Oh, crap. All over the lens. Dang it. Somebody's going to yell at me for wiping that off with my finger. Almost got it. Hang on. Okay. A lot of condensation in there. Whatever. Anyhow, he breaks down right in front of the driveway and uh, come out, see what's wrong. You now it's still running, but he goes to put it in gear. Sounds weird and won't hardly move. I think those things have a big giant drive belt on them, kind of like a snowmobile or something. Uh, anyhow, that was the, the old Chevy's first job there. Well, not the first job, but uh we towed him up the hill and got up there he says man that thing sounds nice he must have been choking on oil the whole way i guess <laughs> uh he said, that thing sounds nice i like those old square bodies you know and he's a, he's a young kid maybe maybe 16 something like that so it's nice to see that the next generation still has an appreciation for the uh for the older stuff and I told him where he could get a nice exhaust system done, too. All right. Uh, I'm going to get out my book, get these wheels off, and, you know, start looking at stuff. Uh, this is already going long enough, so I'm just going to upload this. This will be in a few parts. And we'll go through this together. I imagine, imagine I'm going to have to pull that front differential cover off so I can get the axles out and uh, then you press your new U-joints into the axles which that makes me a little nervous because I've never I don't have any experience with these things and I've seen when people I've seen when people put the axle back together the wrong way and your your wheel starts like sliding out on you I guess that's a a clip or something that that they neglected so I'm gonna have to keep my book on hand pay close attention to what I'm doing as it comes apart and probably watch this video a couple of times well the next video and hopefully I'll get it on camera it'd be nice if I had a had a little had a cameraman that would just follow me around and do stuff then you could catch what I'm doing but it's not that interesting anyhow <laughs> all right take care guys thanks for watching